Last time, like I said, she was crazy. We keep hearing about thys and thous. Thou something is coming out from the ground. Which, whatever that means. Oh, I'm so cold. Okay. Uh, entry browser. Yeah, this is what we got last time. And I don't see anything that's, like, new. Like, I wonder if they actually did hide something in here. We already know wood, wine, fungi, da 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 da, trash, ticks, termite. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's anything here um, that's new. It would be cool though if they added like a little hint or something. My guess is like there's some type of Dorcha or something messed up. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, mailbox. Yeah, this is the coupon for the Glamour Stone. And that's what Carol's wearing. Also, expensive. Glamour is... Uh, oh, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of um, Wolf Among Us. Because Wolf Among Us, great game. I should play that game. I have it. I should play that one time. Um, Wolf Among Us. They have some type of Glamour pod. Which allows them to look like somebody else. So I'm assuming it's like... It's kind of like that. But the whole matching fable. And assuming you pass the trial, which whatever that is, the soil is fertile, whatever that is, <laughs> keep up the great work. And thanks for going through the weekend. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So I'm assuming this is going to be like the most abnormal day. Home safety hotline. Oh, that was weird. Oh, it's gonna be weird. I'm scared already. Is my game too loud? Oh. What? Thy trial hath begun? Oh, we have to figure it out without the stuff? No, not the time where I take days off. No way, I'm screwed. Last time we did this was Saturday. Did we even do this? No, we didn't even do this Saturday. We did this like Friday. Oh, no! Okay. Whoa! Is Carol the queen? We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. Oh, you're bees! Oh, you're giving me riddles! Oh, that's so much worse! You're bees! Bees follow their queen. Oh, am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. <gasps> oh my gosh. Showcase thy knowledge. Oh, it's so weird. It's so creepy and weird. Showcase thy knowledge? What? Are you gonna call? You're not calling. Oh, here we go. Alright, alright. Oh my gosh. I am not living, yet I clat- wait. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please hold. What? I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small. I am weak. You're not living. You clatter? What is- what are you clattering? Uh, I'm small. Okay, so you're not the horde. You clatter. That's what's getting me. You clatter. Oh, I'm dead. Is it like if I get it wrong, I'm dead? Ticks? No. What dies? When... I'm small, i weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. Wasn't there, like, a couple things that, like, like, infections that, like, if you have them, like, you die? I think that's what it is. I'm small, but i weak, yet I clatter. Oh. I serve my purpose, and then I die. I don't know. I actually have no idea what this could be. 
clatter. Frozen pipes? Frozen pipes don't die, but they don't live either. I am not living, but then you die. That makes no sense! I'll put false beat. Isn't that one of the ones where it's like, it's sort of like, once eaten? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no. Forge ahead. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that was right, though. I just had no idea. I serve my purpose. I clatter. And then you die. That's what got It's like the clatter and dying. Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> that's creepy. I'm a beggar. I'm the beggar. I'm the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water, the sky. Are you the rain thing? The rain nymph, maybe? Because water in the sky, then it's not water in the pipe, so rain nymph? I don't remember. I don't even think we read much on the rain nymph. I remember the photo. Oh, this is messed up. Press on, employee! Oh, is that gonna be me? Is that my future? Am I pressing on to my death? I'm like trying to remember in my head each time I'm like reading these. Reanimation is someone dying, coming back. Portal is, um, someone who wants to go in it. Puka takes your animal. Oh. I'm the heartbringer of death. I'm the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Please. Oh. You are yourself, actually, because you look awful, aren't you? Where is it? Where is it? Dorcha. That sounds like Dorcha. Dorcha is like the bringer of death. And it's like you can't do anything about it. You're just there. You're Dorcha. Oh. Rejoice. Rejoice in what? In what? I don't like this. Uh, closet labyrinth. We never got that one before. I hope they don't ask like the ones that we don't, haven't gotten. Carbon monoxide, black mold. So obviously the carbon monoxide was definitely like. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, were these always plants? I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and lose their way. Please hold. That just sounds like the closet labyrinth. Is that what it is? Step in and lose their way. Someone who has too much. I'm trying to think. Portal wasn't anything about that. Portal was saying boarded up. And then neighbor's doorway. It didn't get them lost. But they didn't. They forget like their life. I'm going with closet labyrinth. Because step in, step within, and they lose their way. In a labyrinth, you would get lost in, right? Oh no, I don't like it. What happens if I like, lose? Do I get. Ooh. <gasps> These are the bottoms of the roots. Expand thy mind. Oh, it kind of looks like ginger. That's a weird photo. I don't like it. Carol, please? We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to Please tread hold. no longer. Uh, seedlings? Because seedlings was like... We're companions of the garden. Oh, what about Spriggan? We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Compel. So you make them want to to hurt? Seedling. I think it's seedling, though. Because seedling was like, if you mess with their... I don't know what tread means. To be honest, <laughs> what is tread? Um, shoot. Okay, so I'm assuming tread is like... Walk over? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Cause seedling was like, if you take away my weeds, I'm going to kill you. So I'm gonna go with seedling? That's also another one that we haven't done. Are they choosing the ones that we haven't done? Is that is that their game plan? Oh no. Okay. Oh. Let go thy stilted soul. Are you- Is this the Dorcha? 
My, I want to keep my soul. I like it. I'm good. Hello? I mean, like, the spriggin... The spriggin... It, they would touch you and they would kill you. But what did they... Oh, the sprig... Wait, was the spriggin the one that was like, don't, um... Don't eat fruits outside? Oh, maybe it was a spriggin. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're a mole. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? You're a mole first. <laughs> Can I just call you a mole? I am a. I am the dancer. I'm the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What? The weak and the. Oh, that music is so weird. I don't know. I consume the weak and the reckless. What's the weak? Who's the reckless? Consume, consume, consume. What could wait eight? Let, let's let's go off of eating. Unless they're not like this is so ri riddles. I'm not I'm not into riddles. Mm. I don't remember anything eating anyone. Consuming the weak. I am the dancer. I'm the bringer of destruction. A bringer of destruction was a bog art. In the weak and the reckless. I would go with bog art because he did bring a lot of destruction. I don't know. I don't know. I'm dead. Ooh. Descend. <gasps> Descend into the soil. Ooh. I'm gonna become dirt. I don't bring uh, these riddles are. I nope. <laughs> this is not the Sunday I was looking forward to. Oh, okay. Please. Whoa. I'm the seeker. I'm the one who delivers. Are you the Dorcha? Because the Dorcha is the one who delivers, right? Please hold. Mm, I think this one was the Dorcha. Oh, that means I messed up on the other one. I don't know. One of them has to be the Dorcha. Because it didn't say that the Dorcha delivers. I should have studied up. Why did it not change photos? <gasps> Hello. There she is. Super There's it working. Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. What? Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Girl! Carol, I don't need to be promoted. It's fine. It's fine, Carol. I'm fine. I like my job. What? Carol. Please be not afraid. Come close. Car oh me, oh my, Carol. I didn't realize we we're gonna get so personal. Is that my crown? I got a crown. It's a hat. It's a crown. <gasps> Hi, Carol. <gasps> Ermie. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Are hey, you okay? Supervisor! 
This was such a great freaking game. This game was so good. Oh, that's so funny. So what happens if I fail? Like, how, how well did I do? Did I do good at all? Hold on, I'm gonna look up the answers. I have them pulled up somewhere. So let's see. Um, probably not gonna remember it fully, but I can at least try. Oh! Um... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah! Okay, so riddle one was, we are many, we are above, uh, we are the followers of our queen, what are we? Bees, I was right. Riddle two, I am not living, yet I clatter, I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, and I die. What am I? Animation, because we never did an animation, I never read up on it. I, uh, riddle three, I am the beggar, I am the encroacher of the dry, I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Rain nymph. That's what I what that's what I chose. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? That was housefly. That is also one that we never did. So we never actually got it looks like these are all answers of ones that I never did. Yep. Cause bees we never did. Animation we never did. Rain nymph we never did. Housefly we never did. So these were like hidden ones. Uh, riddle five, I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and lose their way. What am I? Closet labyrinth, we got that one right. Riddle six, we are the companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread no longer. What are we? Seedling, we got that one. Riddle seven, I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am for the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? That was house fires. I don't- I would not be able to get that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would not be able to do that. And then the last one was, I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? Dorcha. So these were literally just all ones that we just never read on. So what happens now? Does it restart us? Oh. Nice wallpaper. Look at that. So what is this? Unemployment immunity. Always display accuracy options that allow for post descent manipulations. Available after promotion. Oh, so I guess there's like an endless mode. Oh, if there is an endless mode, that's so much fun. Mm. Display accuracy would be fun. Add button to skip call wait time. Hmm. And then art book. Oh, hi, I'm Nick Lives. The creator of Home Safety Hotline. If you're here reading this, it hopefully means that you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. If so, you've come to the right place. This is a peek into the game's art development process and all the human's messiness that entails. I hope you enjoy this thorough and <laughs> admittedly indulgent look into what we went into making Home Safety Hotline the game it is now. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that art. When I was uh, maybe 10 or 12 years old, my grandmother gifted me a Dungeons and Dragons monster manual she picked up from the thrift store. That's what this is. Immediately I fell in love with this book. Despite having no idea what its purpose was, I would sour its pages con oh, scour its pages constantly, learning everything I could about its many, many imaginative creatures. Since I started developing games, I very much wanted to make a game about the pure joy I experienced flipping through the bestiary Many games have featured in game B series, but rarely it is is it important to actually read through them in much detail. See, that's cool. And like it was kind of obvious that they were doing certain fables like the leprechaun and the trolls and all that. Whoa. My first attempt at crafting a game based around my love for B series was a game aptly tilted 
was a game aptly tilted B-Siri, a fantasy game which you would play as researchers testing the dead bodies of monster corp- corpses with various magical implements in an attempt to write an accurate B-Siri entry for them, noting properties as you went. Wait, can we actually play this, though? Like, is this... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see if this is actually a game that we can actually, like, get into and play. What is it called again? Um, a game aptly, I don't know if that's its name, but I'm just gonna. Mm, I don't think so. Well, does he say what the game name is? No, I want to play it. That looks so freaking cool. This prototype never really, oh, there it goes. This prototype never really made it past the conceptual stage. With these concept art pieces and crude interactable UI being as far as I took it, I wasn't fully happy with this direction, as it was rather art heavy, seemed too generic, and it felt like the activ- the little it felt a little like the activity that inspired it. Oh, but it looks cool! If you ever release it, I would play it. <laughs> Whoa! Skip ahead while my well and my wife and i wind up both getting jobs as actors at a local fantasy theme park called evermore park in which she played a playful fairy and i voiced the puppeteered this big i voice and puppeteered this big monster called the fey king the park gave a lot of improvisational freedom to its actors and my wife and i both wound up really stretching some creative muscles while we were there Every day, we'd be crafting up stories on the spot for guests and impro- improvising scenes with other actors. Eventually, many of the actors quit or were let go, but the park left a substantial creative void within many of the people who worked there, myself included. As time went on, I sorely missed performing and improvising with the other actors and the constant but rewarding creative challenge of tail weaving and lore crafting on the fly. This is 30 pages? This is crazy. During the pandemic, as things felt increasingly dire and lonely, I wrote up a new design document entitled 1-800-BEASTERY, a game about answering calls for a hotline that prescribes solutions to various kinds of monster infestations. The hope was, with the caller angle, I'd be able to wrangle a bunch of actor friends into this fun and quick project, and maybe we'd all get a chance to recreate some of that creative spark. And I'd finally get to scratch my childhood beastiery itch. Alas, other priorities came up with other projects I was developing, so 1-800-B Siri remained on the back burner for another three years. Wow. Oh, wow. This is insane. Oh, I guess this is the prototype? Yeah! That's so cool. Wait, hold on. We missed out on tube creatures? And mind worms? How come we didn't get those? Oh. Uh, the B-Siri entries increasingly felt like they needed to be more personal, to be scary, so I decided the monsters should all be things that live in your house. Out of curiosity, I asked my wife one day if she knew any folklore about monsters that live in your house. The answer was goblins. Oh, hell yes, now we're talking. I excitedly grabbed one of my sketchbooks so I could doodle up some weird gobo <laughs> gobos and the new, more fitting title idea. That's cool, and there it is. The first hob photo. Oh, so they did it out of Photoshop. That's really cool. And I love this hand-drawn art. I love it. Whoa, that's creepy. When drawing monsters, frequently I would find myself having to paint the entire monster in order to get certain poses that I felt that feel accurate before erasing parts of them later to hide them behind some furniture. Oh, <laughs> that must suck, though. Oh, this one's creepy. I hate this one. I hate this one so much. No, yep, that's the attic. No, that's a night gnome. I like it. See, this one was, oh, I see it now. That's her eye. That's her other eye. This is like her little flower crown. So that's what the Spriggan looked like. The Spriggan by far may be the hardest creature to spot. Yeah, They're all throughout development, I've asked playtesters to try and find the Spriggan. No one has found the Spriggan. I could consider this a failure on my part as a designer, but instead left it as is in the final product. Make it this way you will. No, that's good. For it, because they, the caller doesn't even see the spriggan. The caller just says the trees are moving. So for us to not see the spriggan too, that, I mean, like, I think that's a really good idea. Oh, that's the troll. <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. I hate it. 
No, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. It makes my heart drop. Why does it look like that? The bogger is maybe the most traditionally spooky creature I've designed for HSH with its uncanny human-like face and long slender figure. I hate it. I hate it. All right, covering it. After reading into bogger lore and finding out uh, they are sort of the forefathers of our modern-day boogeyman, it seemed only fitting to make the bogger more traditionally ghoulish. Oh, I hate it. It's so creepy. And that looks like a face behind him. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Shake it off. All right. Trash gnome is adorable. So it's Oscar the Grouch, but worse. That's so cute. Self-writing entries. Oh. Hidden in plain sight. What was this one? Oh, this is the laundry gnome. Oh. I did not see the laundry gnome. The design for sprites was intended to be a mix between mosquitoes and a more traditional fairy. Yeah, the sprites are cool. Oh, I see it. It's its eyes, and that's its nose, and that's its arm, arm, leg, leg. Ah, this one I hate. Warlock Remnant is, in fact, an edited photograph of me wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood, along with a cheap vampire costume I had. <laughs> that's actually really cool. It's really clever, too. Um, Concept of Coupons came out about after I received feedback from demo players asking for more motivation for playing the game as well. Since playing the game poorly would net you more in bleh. since playing the game poorly would let would net you more interesting content in the form of the consequence calls. I thought that pointless employee discounts for products offered by HSH would make up for funny yet lore heavy content for high scoring incentives and base uh, the look of the product images off of ninety infomercial ads. I love this. Whoa, that's cool too. See, this is creepy. Uh, the riddle me's. Originally, the player received their promotion at the end of their shift on Saturday, but it felt a bit too abrupt to go from an otherwise normal workday to the game's fantastical ending in the span of a single call. Yeah. After a bit of brainstorming, we wound up coming up with a dedicated final trial day where you would be called by cryptic cloak callers testing your knowledge with riddles, all without having access to your database information. Yeah, that was intense, but that was so fun. And then this is like the scenes, I guess, for acting. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, the crown, the promotion crown. The promotion crown was a unique prop I hot glued together out of various craft store materials, including a small wreath, little curvy sticks, and fake mushrooms. That's so clever though. Like, that just shows that you don't even need that much money to like, invest in a game like this to be so well this game was so creative and so good given the players only getting their first promotion the materials involved are all more crude and common than the more lavish crown that the fae carol wears though carol was a fae oh there's carol <laughs> in addition to playing the role of carol courtney also designed the final makeup and costume look for fae carol in the game's ending Cutscene depicting Carol in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I want to look like a proper swamp witch. <laughs> I love that. She looks so freaking cute! Faye Carol's costume was also pieced together by Courtney herself, utilizing, utilizing stressed netting, foam moss, and, stretch, stre and a stressed geez, black skirt. And finally topping it all off with a crown fashioned from faux twigs and leaves. That's so cool. Aw, oh, this game is so fun. I hate that it's it. So I guess the weekly report. Ah, oh, here we go. And it tells you, yeah, I messed up two, two, and a hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, yeah, oh, above 50. All right, above 50%. I could be happy with that. That's awesome! This game was so much fun! Oh my gosh, if there was like ch daily challenge modes or something, I feel like that would be so cool. Oh, this game was great! <laughs> I loved it so much!